We've all encountered history in one situation or another, be it a story told by your grandparents, or during a history class, or even after a visit to your local museum. But even with the large amount of recorded history we have today, there's still a lot that happened back in the day that you may not be aware of yet, or at least they haven't been recognized as worthy enough to be shared. Well, in today's video, we'll be looking at some interesting historical facts you won't be getting from a book or a folktale. So sit tight as we take you back in time. Ready? Let's go! Number 1. The Man Who Survived Two Bomb Attacks Tsutomu Yamaguchi is the man who survived two bomb attacks. The first attack found him in Hiroshima, where he sustained significant injuries and had to take some time off from his regular business. After getting better, he traveled to Nagasaki, where the second bomb occurred, leaving him with additional injuries. The lucky man lived for many more years and died at 93. Number 2. Two U.S. Presidents, Thomas Jefferson and John Adams, passed away on the same day. On July 4, 1826, two former U.S. Presidents who were once friends, then enemies, then friends again, died. They died five hours apart, with Jefferson dying first. John Adams was the first to serve as the second President of the U.S. between the year 1797 to 1801. Thomas Jefferson then ruled as the third president of the United States from 1801 to 1809. Later, the two renewed their friendship, which went well until they took their last breath on the same day. Number 3. 100 people claimed to be Marie Antoinette's dead son to take over the throne of France. Marie Antoinette Joseph Jean was the last queen of France just before the French Revolution took place. After the French Revolution, Louis XVIII, who was eight years old, was imprisoned. Marie and her husband, Louis XVI, were executed in 1793, leaving him as the potential heir to the throne of France. However, the little boy was neglected, abused, and isolated for years. He eventually died two years later and was buried in a mass grave. Here's the interesting part. During a Bourbon restoration, not only one, but 100 men came forward claiming to be Marie's son hoping to be crowned the prince and later become the king of France. Of course, no one believed any of them, as how could little Louis XVIII turn into a hundred men? Number 4. People in the past used to lock up their tea. Weird, right? In the past, British people used to lock up their tea to keep it safe from theft, as it was an expensive beverage to lose. Tea was usually imported from China. Few people, including the rich, could afford it. There were special boxes with locks specially designed for this purpose. Number 5. Heroin was once used to treat cough. From the year 1898 to 1910, doctors used heroin to treat coughs. This widely known drug was being marketed as non-addictive and was considered the best substitute for morphine. This act was led by a pharmaceutical company known as Bayer. Number 6. The Ban on Christmas did you know that the most celebrated day, Christmas, was once banned in Britain? This occurred between 1644 and 1660, when the Lord Protector Oliver Cromwell banned the celebration of this day. Oliver was a staunch Christian who believed Christmas Day was used to mock God instead of praise Him. Number 7. Monks Who Starved Themselves to Death While most people struggled to find something to eat to keep them alive, Monks that existed between the 11th to 19th centuries used to mummify themselves by not eating or drinking until they died in the same position they were in. This practice was known as Sokushinbutsu and was majorly practiced by Buddhist monks from northern Japan. Number 8. Four Kings Who Actually Died In Their Bathrooms Death knows no proper place to strike. Four kings have been recorded to have died in their bathrooms. The first king to die was King Edmund who died in 1016 after being stabbed in his washroom. The second, King John, then died in 1216 from dysentery while on the toilet. Then the third king to die in his bathroom was King George II, and the last was King Henry I, who died in 1135. Number 9. The Cat Hating Pope Pope Gregory IX is said to have hated cats as he linked them to Satanism. The Pope, who was serving between the year 1233 to 1234, even ordered cats to be killed as they had no place in the kingdom of God. Faithful to his commands, many cats were killed, leading to the deadliest plague of rats as there were not enough cats to kill them. Number 10. Cleopatra was not Egyptian. 
Cleopatra is a famous Egyptian queen who ruled as the last queen of the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt. However, what you don't know is that Cleopatra was never an Egyptian, but a Greek. Cleopatra VII Philippator was a descendant of a Greek general and took over the reign of Egypt after the passing on of her father. Number 11. The Greek poet who was killed by a tortoise. One man named Aeschylus was a renowned Greek tragedian who wrote over 90 plays. However, this great poet could not have predicted how life would end. Aeschylus died after an eagle allegedly confused his head for a rock and dropped a tortoise on his head to break the shell. Number 12. Ketchup was once sold as medicine. Surprise! The ketchup we use today on almost every meal was once sold as a natural medicine in the early 1830s. This was started by a famous physician named John Cook, who prescribed this sweet product to cure indigestion. Ketchup then continued to be used as a medicine until the late 19th century, when it started to be used as what we all know today. Number 13. American Independence Day is not July 4th. Sorry for the many times you've celebrated your Independence Day on July 4th, because it's not the actual date. The real American Independence Day was on July 2nd, when the Second Continental Congress voted the approval of a resolution of independence in Philadelphia. July 4th is when Congress adopted the official Declaration of Independence. Another interesting thing is that this declaration was not fully signed until the month of August. Number 14. The Real Owner of the Mickey Mouse Drawings Whenever the popular cartoon character Mickey Mouse is mentioned, people often link Walt Disney as the person behind the drawing. However, it's not the case, as Ub Iwerks is said to have come up with the concept for the drawing in 1928 and later developed it into the now-known art of Mickey Mouse. Number 15. The first president to ever live in the White House was John Adams. Every U.S. president lives in the luxurious White House after being elected president. However, one president was lucky enough to be the first ever occupant of the White House, and that president is John Adams. He was not the first American president, but he was the first to live there as the house was still under construction when the previous president was serving his term. Number 16. A Japanese soldier who never realized the war was over until 30 years later. Imagine being a soldier on duty during one of the deadliest wars in history. You sit and perform your duty for over 20 years, only to realize the war is long gone. This is the case of Hiro Onoda, who lived alone in the Philippines for nearly 30 years while spying on Americans. He only came to know of the war's end after his retired commanding officer flew back to the Philippines to prove it to him. Number 17. Fidel Castro survived over 600 assassination attempts. Fidel Castro, a famous Cuban dictator, survived not only one assassination attempt, but 600. He had many enemies, from criminals and political opponents to the United States as a nation that wanted him dead. Different ways were used to kill him, including putting poison in his diving suit and explosives in his cigars. He eventually died on November 25, 2016 from natural causes. Funny, right? Number 18. Using a fork was considered blasphemy. You might be enjoying your favorite dish with a fork while watching this, not knowing that this act was considered blasphemy in the past. These utensils were first introduced in the 11th century by Italians. However, many people saw this as a mockery of God as the design resembled human hands. Number 19. The most successful woman pirate in history. When you talk about pirates, a woman is the last person that comes into your mind. However, a woman is said to have been the most successful pirate and commanded over 1,500 ships and 80,000 crew. Xing Shi is said to be that lucky woman. Number 20. The shortest presidency in the United States. The shortest U.S. presidency to be served is recorded to have lasted only two months after the then-current president, William Henry Harrison, died. William had been appointed as the ninth president of the U.S., but died in office two months later due to a cold. Number 21. George Washington was not the first face on the $1 bill. George Washington is known to have been the United States' first president. With this, it might have been right to put him as the face of the first ever dollar bill, but no. He was not the first face to it, as Salmon P. Chase was. Chase was the Treasury Secretary in 1862 when the first dollar bill was issued. He was also the designer of the first banknotes during that time, and it was only fair that he put himself on there. 
Number 22. Newsflash. You're not the first generation to watch a film. The first film to be recorded was done by director Louis Le Prince, a Frenchman who directed it for 2.11 seconds in 1888. The film's name is Round Hay Garden Scene, and it's said to be the oldest surviving film in history. Number 23. The Iron Maiden was never a thing. In the 18th century, it was believed that criminals were usually tortured in this iron chamber designed like a human structure. However, this is a total lie, as the Iron Maiden never existed. Number 24. The first space travel was to happen in the 1600s. John Wilkins proposed the idea of people traveling in space in the 16th century. He described the equipment to take people to space as flying chariots. Additionally, John believed that people would not need special breathing equipment to breathe in space because their bodies would eventually get used to whatever air was produced. Needless to say, had he actually followed through with his idea, it would have ended disastrously. Number 25. The Designer of the U.S. Flag This is an interesting historical fact that will excite you. A 17-year-old boy designed the current flag of the United States. Robert G. Heft did not intentionally design this flag in 1958, but was doing a school project like any other student. However, his flag was so beautiful that he contacted the White House about the design. The White House eventually contacted him back, and the flag was made official. Number 26. Urine was once used as a mouthwash. Have you ever imagined using your urine as a cleaning agent? Like using it as a mouthwash? The ancient Romans are known to be among the first people to get civilized and therefore held oral hygiene close to their hearts. So imagine our surprise when we found out they were using their pee to wash their mouths. It's believed that they used their natural excretions because it contained ammonia, which is known to be a great cleaning agent. Gross. Number 27. Albert Einstein President? Yes, Albert Einstein, famously known for his several theories, was actually to become a president of none other than the country of Israel. In November 1952, the Israeli government wrote a letter to Albert Einstein, offering him a spot to be their next president after the death of President Chaim Wiseman. However, he declined the offer and continued to work on what he believed he was best at. Number 28. Drinking Traditions for Persians Ever sipped liquor and talked? You probably told the truth. This is what the ancient Persians used to do before making hard decisions. They believed that one always spoke the truth under the influence of alcohol and made sure to drink before their seatings. Number 29. A simple key could have prevented the Titanic from sinking. We all know the tragic incident of the Titanic. And no, we're not talking about the Leo DiCaprio movie. The real-life historical event could have been prevented by only a single key. That key would have opened the storage locker of the Titanic's crow's nest, where they stored the binoculars. But that key had been given to a sailor named David Blair, and David had been reassigned to another ship at the last minute. So the binoculars stayed locked away, and the iceberg wasn't spotted in time. Number 30. The President Who Gave an Interview from the Bathroom Lyndon B. Johnson is the president who unapologetically held one of his interviews while using the toilet, a thing that no leader would think of. While most people saw this act as insane, some think he simply didn't want the conversation to end or just didn't want his nature to excuse his duties. So what do you think? Which one of these historical facts amazed you the most? Let us know in the comment section. And while you do that, kindly check out our other videos from this channel.